So step number one, which is something that is imperative for anybody, and I'm sure you have it and many other people you've worked with, is really knowing your big why. Like why you want to speak, but what's beyond that? So, you know, what drives this whole notion of being a speaker or a public speaker, why you want to use public speaking. Um, and, and the reason that's the starting point is because it's all very well to speak when things go right. But what will keep you going is when things are going wrong is your big why. Uh, so we do this thing, we do this whole exercise around it and, and we lead people to this moment going, what is your big why? And that's the moment when we work with CEOs and MDs and really successful entrepreneurs they kind of have this realization that no one can ever take away their why. And for some people, it's about being a great dad and a great husband. For some people, it's about disrupting industries. Whatever that is, the reason the big why is so important is A, it drives you when things are going well, but it keeps you going when things are going hard. And it doesn't have to be a big, you know, um, um, Martin, I think Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, uh, Martin Luther King type, you know, change the world thing. Although that's important, not take away from that. It can be, I just want to be a great father. I want a great husband. You know, whenever I get on stage, that's my force. That's my driver. So that's why step number one for anyone has to be the big why. Mm -hmm.